In this video, we will look at the do while and while loops. The do while loop executes once and then checks a conditional statement to see if it should continue to loop. We can see here the basic syntax for a do while loop. Notice that it states to do the loop body and then check if a conditional statement is met. Notice also that it is lacking the initial expression and increment expressions from the for loop, which means we will have to add these in ourselves in order to prevent an infinite loop. Here is an example of a do while loop in action. We start with an array of post IDs. And then we have to manually set our initial expressions here, i and max. Then in the loop body, we log out the specific post ID that we're on based on the index, and then increment the index. After the do block runs, it will check our conditional statement and continue to run until the statement fails. While this is very similar to what we did with the for loop, the important difference in this example is that the do block executes before any conditional statement is checked. Let's say, for example, we had something like this. This would display the admin bar even if the user was not logged in because the code executes before the statement is checked. So here we have logged in set to false. However, when we run the code, it tells us to display the admin bar once until it checks the statement, finding out that this is not true and therefore does not continue to display the admin bar. You might be rightly asking yourself at this point, when would you want to run a block of code before checking a conditional statement? Here is an example where we display a pop-up on our site asking people to sign up for a newsletter. And then, if they say no, we would wait a while and ask them again. And of course, we would have an option to say, do not ask me again. So we have a variable there set to true initially, but could be set to false if someone does not want to be bothered again. Since it would be impossible for somebody to check the box before the pop-up launches, and we know we want to ask them for their email if they come to the site, then we would want to execute the code that is going to wait a little bit and then ask them if they want to sign up. We are using part of the DOM API to do this, window.confirm, which we will explore later. The confirm option allows us to display a browser alert message, giving somebody the option to choose OK or cancel. If someone chooses OK, the Boolean value true is returned. And if cancel is selected, false is returned. Because of this, we can assign it to a variable like we do here and then test it in our conditional statement. Our conditional test checks for two things. First, it requires that they still have not signed up for the newsletter. And then it requires that they have not checked the box asking them not to sign up again. Now, it would take some time and much more advanced JavaScript than we've covered up to this point to really get this working as we envisioned it. But thanks to the confirm module, we can get almost a full proof of concept working. However, the basic functionality of asking for information up front and then continuing to ask as long as the conditions down here are met is working. So this serves as somewhat of an example of when you might want to use something like a do while loop. So now that we've seen some examples here of the do while loop, let's take a look at the simplest of all loops in JavaScript, the while loop. The while loop simply iterates over a block of code until the condition is no longer true. Unlike the do while loop, the condition must be met first before the code will run. Here is the basic syntax for a while loop. It is basically just while and the conditional statement, followed by the loop body. We actually use a while loop all the time in WordPress when we display posts, although we're using the PHP version of it. The loop in WordPress, as it's called, says while you have posts to display, continue to display them. It's a bit more complex in this code example here, but the basic principle of the while loop is the same. We have a number of posts that we want to display, and then while the number of posts left to display is greater than zero, we will continue to display the posts and then subtract one 
from the total left to display. Similar to the do while loop, this loop does not have any of the extra features that the for loop has, like the initial expression and the increment expression built into when we actually set up the loop here, so we have to do it manually either within the loop or before it. The for, while, and do while loops are the three basic types of loops in JavaScript. In the next video, we're going to review these three types of loops one more time and look at when you might want to use each one.